So just just to belabor the point a bit about my journey. Uh, what you may say about this picture, it is true, it is me. And if you look at this, the, this person in the photo, he also got more hair than I currently do now. So this is not Photoshop. Okay, so the the reason why I decided to leave corporate is because enough is enough, as what Imin said. Uh, sick and tired of trading time for a fixed paycheck. So I wanted to have more control, take back control of my life, my time. So it, it, yes, it was a it was a bit challenging in the beginning, but fortunately, I also had my spouse who supported me and and also make sure I put in my fair share of hard work for the first couple of years to learn the ropes and I'm happy to say that okay I uh, well, I not enough to make me a millionaire yet but I think it is possible because the thing the the one the one uh, beauty of options is that you can consistently earn and you you plow back the earnings month of month week after week, month after month, back into your portfolio and then you are able to build up your your portfolio size and then you invest. So in the sense, it is using the power of compounding and there will come a time when we give ourselves a, a long enough runway, long enough time, we will be able to use the power of compounding to build up your portfolio to a sizable, to a sizable uh, portfolio and then you we can we as options or investors using options we can actually you know achieve whatever financial objectives that we set ourselves to achieve okay now let, let me let me just say this up front we are not here to 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 say that you can be millionaires you can earn big bucks from trading options no but there are options investors that i personally know who have actually started on the options investing journey early and there's they early by early i mean like okay this guy that i know he started his journey he started his options investing when he was in national service when he was doing his ns so and from the time ns he finished come out to work he has got enough time to actually build up his portfolio and today he's actually a millionaire he has a millionaire portfolio so it is possible, but let us also set our expectations correct, have the right mindset, have the right expectation. So let me just share what is my typical journey as an options investor when I first started, all right? So when I first started, okay, so it, start, it started as a clean sheet, right? So not sure what to do other than learning the, learning the technical aspects of how to invest using options. And then from there, I developed my own investment process as well. Because it is important that each of us have our own system, our own investing system. Just like I understand Imin, Imin has his own, uh, you know, wealth accumulation system to help him build up his own financial portfolio. I have my own, I have my own three-step FER process, which I'll share in a short while. And what what is my typical day as an options investor is, all right, so in the daytime, I will use my own investment system to identify good stocks, to research, and then to read up on this, the sectors or the industry that I'm interested in, that I want to focus on. And from there, I will, you know, it's like a funnel. I will streamline down from the sector that I'm interested in. I will streamline down to to generate a list of good stocks that I can invest in, either investing outright or invest or trade using options. And then when it comes to night, when the market opens, I will execute the trade. I will put in the orders, I will execute the trade. And then the following morning, I will repeat the process. I will review the trades that I have last night and I will review my objectives. Is it going to meet my objectives? And I will continue this process. So this is a virtual cycle that, that I that I continuously do and I reinforce and it gets it just gets better and better it just gets easier and easier how does it get better and better so my pros my results from last year from the whole of 2020 is that okay I have my overall profit for the year is about just a little shy of 100k 
which is a ch which was an objective I set for myself anyway. For I set for myself for the whole of 2020, I want to achieve a return of a six-figure portfolio. So I was just a little shy of that, but it's okay. So I tell myself, okay, it's still a win for me, and I I kind of celebrate it. I celebrate wins. It's about also having the right mindset. It's still a win, so I'm celebrating my win. And my year to date so far is that I, as I said just now, it gets easier, it gets better and better. The the more I do it, the, the better, the better and the easier it becomes. So on a year to date basis, my PNL has been okay. You know, uh, it looks like I'm gonna achieve at least minimally achieve what I have for what I achieved in 2020. So this is all for a good start. And as I said, I have my own investing system. This is my three-step FER process. The F stands for fundamental. Fundamental is not so much this fundamental or the stocks, but really understanding myself, what kind of investor am I? What kind of risk profile do I have? And then from there, I will analyze what are the sectors that are good for, for people with my kind of risk appetite. What are the stocks that are suitable for me? And then the R, is for taking action, realizing the action by taking action, all right? So the three-step process, let me just delve into it a little bit more. The fundamental is really about what is what is the circle of competence that I want to develop. Like, for example, if I'm someone who likes the tech sector, all right, so I can read up all I want, I can learn all I want about tech sector. From there, I will then use the funnel and then say, okay, I want to streamline down because tech is such a big sector, right? Is are there any subsectors that I want to focus on that I want to develop my my competence in? So, is it software? Is it electric vehicles or, or the like? So from there, I will I will focus on it and then read up a lot. Make sure I know as much as I can. So if I'm let's use another example. If I'm already working, if I'm already someone working in the bank, let's say you are someone who's already working in the financial sector. So. Maybe your COC, your circle of competence is already, you're already comfortable uh, about on, your COC will already be in the banking and finance sector. So naturally, you want to extend it to, you know, uh, doing investing or developing your COC in the US financial sector of the stock market. So then you will look at stocks like your Bank of America or Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan's or, the, or you may want to go into fintech place like Square or even PayPal and, and MasterCard, Visa and so on. So that's the that's the whole basis of having a circle of competence, the fundamental understanding why. But understanding why you want to do this is because when you know where you are, where you want to develop expertise, it channels the energy and your focus towards, you know, becoming good in that particular sector. It prevents you from any how guessing or you know any how investing you are you are basically you pre prepping yourself or empowering yourself enabling yourself to have a better chance of success all right so once you know what is your once you have developed your circle of competence your understanding of fundamental then you analyze and then what are the criteria that you set for yourself to to say which are the stocks do I want to analyze in? So these are some of the metrics that I use, right? So I want to add, I want to invest in stocks that that have very strong earnings and not just on a one year basis, but also consistently for the five years, they hit a certain threshold of return on equity, little to no gearing, for example, uh, and companies that have strong pricing power or brand power able to raise price without having a uh, seeing an adverse impact on let's say is revenue and companies that have strong cash flow because strong cash flow means there's a chance that the company can pay out dividends or in a in a good position to pay out dividends or do share buybacks which will, which will drive up the share uh, share price of the stock that you buy so i and of course i rely a lot on free screeners, tools that are out there in the market for you to use without actually having to pay them to pay for it. I mean, you can always pay for it for the premium services. So these are some of the tools that I use, Morningstar, Finviz, uh, TradingView, and so on. So so this is just another illustration of what are the matrices that I use. So like Microsoft, I want when if I want to invest in Microsoft, I will 
look at does it have strong operating cash flow does it what's the operating margin like that is it profitable consistently does it pay dividends and how much and so on <clears throat> and then once you do all this analysis which are not difficult to do uh, let me assure you is actually once you internalize for myself once i internalize the process as, as i do it it becomes easier and then importantly is about taking action now how to take action know what are the option strats or strategies short for strategies option strat okay which is trying to be a task here so use bombastic what is that like option strikes ta using ta to identify where's the support What's the price support price of this stock? Where's the ceiling or where's the resistance? And then knowing where and how to how to trade the options using the support price and the and the resistance. <clears throat> so the the TA of course there's no need to be expert in TA. Just know how the TA principles apply and know how to draw how to do basic TA analysis like using trend lines to draw. Okay, how, how to add it? Basically, knowing how to identify what's the trend, how to identify what's the resistance. Again, note it's not a perfect sign, it's not an exact science, just roughly you have a it allows you to have a gauge. Okay. So from this to say, okay, roughly I I can assess the support is at this level, resistance at this level. So when I when I trade options, I will say I will sell put at let's say below the support or at around support, for example. Okay, so this is all that I use, and I think someone, someone in the Facebook group has a question. What are the common strats like Chi High, right? So these are some of the common strats that I use. Okay, I will. I use a fair bit of sell puts. Okay, I use quite a lot of vertical spreads, bull put spreads for, for, reason being. It allows me to it. It is a very good. It is a very good risk management strat to use, and I also use a fair bit of buy call in bull market in prolonged bull market conditions. Now, what maybe I can also go back to what you mean a share and just give a bit more perspective. Okay, what are uh, how do you see a buy call? Now, if you are someone already trading the stock market. The plain vanilla stock buying and selling of stocks, right? The buy call in the options world is the equivalent, is the options equivalent of buying low and selling high. That's, if you look at a payout table, you are basically paying money to buy the right, to have the right to buy at a low price. And when the stock price goes up in the future, you sell it at a high price. So buy call essentially is the option equivalent of buy low and sell high, right? Now, if you are someone who is comfortable shorting the market, a buy put strategy or buy put strat is the option equivalent of shorting the market because you can actually short the market by, you know, uh, having a contract that allows you to sell at a high price even though the 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 actual stock price or the market has actually turned downwards. So. There are analogies like or parallels that you can draw, which, which uh, once you learn a bit more or you invest the time and effort to learn about options, you will be able to see the the analogy or the, or the parallels of it. So, Chi Hai, to your quest, back to your question, what are the common strats for options that are used and all for retail? investors or traders like myself i as i said i use a lot of bull put spread or vertical credit spread i use a fair bit of sell put i do use quite a fair bit of buy call in bull market when the when the stock market or when the stock itself is experiencing a bull boom bull run or bull situation so in my in the program that i coach uh op coach investors who want to learn and use options to generate income for themselves these are the three strats that i coach them and i tell i basically teach them how to employ effectively in terms of using option strats to use uh, to generate the incomes now let me talk a little bit about the why okay now 
Why do I use buy call? Buy call, as I said just now, it is an option equivalent of buying low and selling high. Now, if we are in a situation today, or a year back when the US market is in a bull situation, is con it looks like the bull run is going to continue, and you see your favorite stock just keeps on going higher, higher. Now, conventional wisdom will tell you not to chase after the stocks, right? When the stock price is going high, there's no point chasing after. So instead of chasing after the stock, use option. Use option to position yourself to be in a, in a position where you can actually buy the, the underlying stock at a low price at some point in time in the future, even though the stock price has run up to so high already, but you, because of the buy call option, you are actually able to buy that stock that you've been wanting to buy at a lower price because you pay a some form, an amount of money up up front, right? So that gives you the right to buy the, the underlying stock at an agreed price, even though in the future the stock price may have run up a lot, but it's still your in advantageous position because your buy call option allows you to say, hey, I can still buy the, the stock at, at $50, even though the price has run up to $80 or $100. So that is predominantly why we use a buy call strategy in in the bull market situation or when the stock that you have always wanted to own has already run up. A sell put, as what you mean say, as if is a situation where you, you as a seller, as an option seller, I put myself in a situation where I'm obliged to buy the stock if the stock price drops to below the strike price. So if I sell a put, for example, let me go back to just now the payoff table. Okay, so as as a put seller, when I sell a put at a strike price of 50, as long as the stock price does not touch $50 or does not drop below $50, my position is safe. And the, the profit that I earn, which is the option premium, is is mine to keep forever and this becomes the earnings that I use to add onto my portfolio. So this is a process that I use to generate income for myself week in, week out, month in, month out. So this is also one of the strats that I coach my mentees that if you are someone who based on your financial objective, based on your objective, if you're very clear that your objective is to generate secondary income on a consistent basis. Sell put is the strat to use. Of course, Emin is also right in saying that selling naked puts comes with its uh, some with a certain level of risk, and that's why I also advocate that when you want to sell put, we sell puts on stocks that you you don't mind owning. That stocks that even if they drop, you're happy to scoop it up. At the price that at the contract price okay so let's just say let's just say Citibank all right Citibank in the past it was like hundred hundred over dollars but today if you sell a put that that says okay if the price drops to seventy dollars which is the price which is the stock price of Citibank today if it drops to seventy dollars and you have to buy it from the put buyer at seventy dollars it is a stock that you don't mind buying from the put buyer at $70 because it is a stock that you want to own anyway, right? So selling put, the advantage of selling put is that one, it gives you the chance to earn premium. And in the bull market situation, when the stock price are consistently or on a trended basis going up most of the time, the sell put strategy actually works for a lot of retail investors uh, investing using options because the likelihood of the stock price actually dropping and touching the strike price is actually not very high. And there are ways that you can actually mitigate the risk. For example, you sell the you sell it at a strike price that is as far away from the from the stock market price. So that is one of the ways that we can actually use to mitigate. Okay, selling naked put is risky, but it doesn't mean 
there are no risk management strats that you can actually adopt to, to reduce the risk, your risk exposure. Vertical spreads, okay, vertical spread is uh, is what I what I deem as an advanced strategy because you're actually using two option strats, employing two option strats in tandem at the same time. You're buying a put and you're selling a put at the same time. So the sell put, the sell put obliges you to buy. The buy put gives you the right to sell. So in a way, the 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 risk it protects you from by cancelling out the risk of each other. So there are two. So these are the three common strats that I use. And uh, let me just go back to the. Let me go back to the chat. I think. Um, Mike, right? Mike, you have a question. Will it be safer to just focus on buy call and buy put? Uh, yes, it will be safe. As you mean, said, you'll be very safe. But you see, safe means you trade off something. You want to be really safe means you trade off something. You 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 forego the chance for outsized profits, right? High risk, high return. That is true. If you only focus on buy call or buy puts, that means you are taking the very safe path then safe path you are basically it's not say that you're wrong but it means that you you are foregoing the opportunity to make even more profits that's why selling puts and calls is more for the pro no Alan is not only for the pros and then you remember the the person that I shared with you the guy who started investing using options learning about options and investing from the time he was in NS he he uses a lot of uh, selling puts and selling of calls, and that is, I mean, if a retail trade if retail investor like him can use sell puts and sell call and and achieve outsized profits and achieve a very good financial outcome for himself, if he can do it, so can any so can anyone else. As long as you know what you're doing, you risk manage properly, and you don't overtrade. You don't put yourself in a position where you jeopardize your your yourself unnecessarily. All right. So just now, Imin talked about uh, what is the biggest trip up or what is the biggest jeopardy that I have actually put myself in. Let me just tell you, share with you, Tesla. All of you know about Tesla, right? Okay. I believe all of you will know about Tesla. Now, I was greedy. Okay. Because I've been, there was a period of time in 2019, I've been doing, making consistent profits and I, I got to a point where I was greedy. I sold naked call. Okay. It just not even say, do not sell naked, right? Sell only cover call. I sold naked calls. That means I didn't, I didn't own any Tesla stocks, but I went to sell calls. Selling call obliges me to sell the underlying stocks away to the buy call to the buy call option to the option buy call option my counterparty right so and unfortunately the market turned against me and within one night i, I lost fifty thousand us just in one night right so that is a painful lesson and that also illustrates the options if you don't know what you're doing or you don't risk manage properly it can be a very risky instrument doesn't mean that you should not consider options at all if you are prepared to have a bit of a, if your risk appetite allows you to have to take on a little bit more risk and you are prepared to invest time and effort into learning and understanding and practicing options can be a profitable instrument for you to use to build to achieve your own financial objectives right so with that i will just uh, summarize a, a little bit about in, we, you have seen that there are three option strats that I shared right buy call sell put and vertical spread vertical credit spread and bull put spread two out of the three option strats are sell strats sell strategies why I emphasize a lot on the why understanding what you're doing the why behind it because as a seller if you know how to risk manage yourself properly, properly, your probability of winning is is can be this high, because as a buyer, 
unfortunately, you are kind of subjected to buying. You try to buy as low as favorable as can, and that means you try to buy as low as possible, but the market doesn't always allow you to buy at the lowest. So your probability of winning is always lesser as compared to seller because you can always sell at a at a price where you are confident where there's a certain level of confidence that the market will not drop to that level and put in your position or your trade in jeopardy because especially if you are in a bull market when you're investing using options in a bull market situation now we know based on history of stock markets there are more periods of bulls as compared to bears correct so in all likelihood you will be investing during periods of bull so when you're in, when you're investing during periods of bull market as a seller what's the likelihood that the stock or the market will actually turn and go lower not that it's not not that it's impossible it will be there will be situation or times where the market will correct but we know that the probability of that happening is actually lower and therefore as a seller your probability of winning is actually much com much higher compared to the probability of winning as a buyer so that's why i advocate or uh, options season options investors like myself we usually advocate be an option seller right so that is the why of us do doing op selling options now options can help to let me go now to the trading platform and share with you okay so maybe uh maybe you mean if you're still there maybe ask you you just now you talk about which is the one stock that you want you want to own i like starbucks so i've been uh, uh contributing to their bottom line quite a bit <laughs> or are you that means you're rich enough to keep on to spend and dollars every uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not really me lah. My 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 wife is a Starbucks fan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's time to get some money back from them. <laughs> okay. So, so you want to earn? Okay. What's your objective? You want to earn consistent income, or you want to have the chance to own the stock at some point in time in the future? I think both will be interesting. Both ah. Uh, okay. Can. So maybe, if you want to own, let's just say uh, you want to own the stock and you're prepared the current stock price is 115 now let, let me just do a quick ta to see whether or not is is it expensive or not okay so so the share price is on a nice uptrend so what you can do is obviously you can buy a call right because a buy call is the buy low and sell high right so let's just say okay i choose uh i choose a period that's as far ahead as possible the reason being Okay, there, there's, there's certain logic to it. The further out you are, the cheaper, the, the less it will cost you in terms of option price. So if, and you are able to get a, a much better strike price. So if you want to buy, let's just say you go for the longest option date. So I want to buy, let's say you want to buy a call. You want to buy a call to, let's just say, I want to buy a call that, that allows you, gives you the right to buy Starbucks at $90 on 20th of Jan 2023, which is, it looks like it's two years away, but actually it's, it's not that far, you know? It will come, two years will come by very before you know it. And in between, you can actually, you can actually uh, sell away the options and, and earn some money, in, in fact. So if you want to buy one contract, which means 100 shares of you want to have the right to buy 100 shares of Starbucks, right? You are, uh, what is the price you got to pay now? So you, you got to pay 2915 Your profit theoretically could be infinite because if let's say on 20th Jan 2023, Starbucks price shoot up to $200, okay? You can actually buy at $90 and then sell it away or you can actually sell away your option and in fact make more than the 2009 right so but today when you're buying this option this is the amount you gotta fork out which is 2913 for the right to buy options at for to buy this starbucks option at, on at 90 dollars so as i said come 
January 2023, if Starbucks really shoot up to $200, you can buy Starbucks much cheaper at $90 instead of $200 from open market. Now, let's just look at if you want to earn, if you want to earn some money, right? And you also, I can actually help you achieve two objectives at the same time. So let's just say next week, right? Next week, you want to, you don't mind paying $115 for one for hundred for uh, Starbucks share so what you can do is you can actually sell an option all right you sell it uh, and you earn one hundred thirty one dollars from this one trade all right so come 23rd of April which is next Friday if Starbucks touch hundred fourteen dollars for example doesn't matter you still you are still required to pay $115 minus away the premium that you collected today, which is $100 over dollars or $1.31 per share. So your net your net price for owning the stock is only $114, which is about the, the market price of the stock. So that's okay. But if Starbucks is at $120, for example, your option will expire worthless the $131 that you collected today, you get to keep next week. And then it, it, it becomes your cash. It becomes an addition to your cash. And that means, let me just, okay, so this is simulated trade. So with any luck, you will see that, okay, this trade will go through and you will, you may actually see this money actually growing by $131, right? So, Let's just say Apple, right? So, so that is an example. That's the a, a trade that I will use using the buy call, a sell put. Now, I can also use a vertical spread. So, again, let me let me just look at the T. Okay, start, uh, Apple has recovered nicely. Let me just draw some. So from here, I'll just right. So, so this means that my trade has already gone through, right? So I've sold some Apple stocks. So from here, from the charts, I will I will assess that okay, you know the support stock. Uh, no, not about the Apple, right? Apple support price is. Aga, aga, roughly one hundred and sixteen dollars. Okay, so what I'll do is, okay, I will look for a a entry. Okay, so there's no, but if I go at one hundred sixteen, the premium that I earn is only one cent. No, so no point. I will go for something higher. So a vertical trade, vertical spread means that I sell put and buy put at the same time, right? So I will, I will maybe choose this, this. 127, 128, which gives me a credit of 10 cents times 100 means I will be able to earn. So I will go for 10 contracts. And my is actually kept. The maximum loss that I actually will actually be kept at, based on here, before confirmation, the system will actually tell me, hey, if I do this, if I use this strat and I, I choose this particular uh, strike price, my profit will be $110, but my loss is kept at 890 because I have a buy put to protect my sell put position, right? So this, so this is one of the ways that I manage and mitigate my risk. So there are option strats that allow me to do this. And as long as, as I said, as long, the key is really to understand what you're getting yourself into, understand what options is about understand the intricacies the 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 why why you're doing this the whole premise of what why what is a strat about and you choose the right kind of stocks to do option on you will in all likelihood emerge as emerge profitable and having additional cash flow that you generate from selling or options or for doing all these trades coming into your cash and sweet vehicle and therefore building up your portfolio 
on and if it as I said as you do it consistently the power of compounding also comes into play mean, meaning that over on a, on a long-term basis you will definitely see your cash position grow to a to a to a sizable amount and with as your portfolio grows it means that you are also able to do more trades okay it doesn't mean you do a lot of trades you just do more good trades and you can actually use this to generate income a cash flow on a consistent basis and some of some investors have actually used options to generate income that is even bigger than what they are drawing in terms of their full-time job the salaries so it is possible and like i said for myself i've actually used options to generate an income that is that is on par with what i was drawing last in my last uh, full-time job in, when i was working in the public sector so today options has actually worked for me and actually given me an, an a salary an income that matches what i was last drawing as a full-time employee and and i have better uh, disposal of my time i bet i'm able to better manage my time i i got my life back as i said uh, but i'm i'm also mindful of the fact that options can also be risky so i all i've constantly i have to be constantly on my toes and to make sure i know what i'm doing and risk manage properly okay so let me just look okay i think i believe i've answered chihai your question chihai from the facebook group voice is breaking uh Santil, is it okay i'm jim gonzaga shares of bank of america will the u.s economy that will depend on what is your own my answer to you is what is your own investment thesis about the 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 u.s stock market all right now if you look at this this uh this particular personality called jim kramer met uh cnbc's met host of met money he thinks that bank of america is is dirt cheap right now so if you share his perspective then then you think that then you may want to consider buying uh bank of america share bsc shares again like i said that's what Emin said we're not here to do any stock uh tips we don't do any stock tips or stock recommendations you have to form your own opinion based on your understanding of the of the market directions or what is the market development of course i have my own view my own view is that with all this uh with all the stimulus and the vaccination the progress of the state of vaccination in the usa i think the us economy is likely to be primed for recovery okay by next year okay maybe the recovery will start to will start to show as early as this year as, uh, as early as this year i do not know i don't have a crystal ball but that is my th that is my thesis right so that is okay that will be my response to you jim let me go back to let me go back to the chat box to see okay so mike allen mike and allen i've i believe i've answered your question i've also answered your question about the buy put buy call sell put sell call okay so do you have any more questions any more follow-on questions or does anyone have any other questions regarding the options in itself so, so, uh, there's a question from Elvin. Uh, uh, what is a reasonable attractive rate of return for sell put that you will target for okay um i when i sell put right because this is let me go back to my when i sell a put let's just say if, uh, okay i'll stick on apple right now if i i usually will go for now this column is called risk risk on risk on return return on risk sorry risk return on risk now whenever i sell a put i will usually go for a rule of thumb two percent profit 
Okay, 2% doesn't sound like a lot, but if you consistently have 2% or 1% one to 2% every month, month in, month out, on every option trade that you do, you have 1% to 2%, the compounding will actually work wonders for you over the long-term horizon. There's also one beauty of, of investing using options because you can do all these small trades. Now, options, if, you, if I have to buy a stock, I have to buy... Although in the US market, I can buy just one share, right? But in order to be meaningful, you, you should buy 100 shares. But buying 100 shares of Apple at $133, $134 per share means that you got to put down at least $13,400, right? So that's a big amount of capital outlay. Now, buying op trading options actually allow me to put just a fraction of it. So if I want to buy, I will just have to fork out $116. Okay, and when I sell, I can earn, okay, I may, I may not be able to earn a lot, but 100 plus, 200 there, 100 plus here, 100 plus there, many small trades accumulated every month is, or every week, if I do this on a weekly basis, every week is a, is a thousand, couple of thousand dollars, it does add up. So that's a, that's a longer, long window way to answer your question. So I... Or I usually aim for one to at least one percent, if if not two percent returns on every trade that I make. All right. So, Alvin, that's my response to your question. Okay. Any other questions from anyone? Okay. So, Imin, any more questions from anyone? If not, that is all for now. Okay. All for now. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. So. I have come to the end of my part in the sharing. I hope everyone has at least a clearer idea of what options can actually do for you for a full-time investor. And let me just also say, options give you the ability to also participate in the US stock market, which is the most liquid, the most exciting stock market in the world. And it basically allows you the opportunity to participate in this very profitable market. So again, it all boils down to you understanding yourself, what is your risk appetite, you understanding what you're getting yourself into, you knowing what kind of risk management measures that you need to take You know, whenever you do a trade. So Lincoln, right? what is the platform I'm using? I'm using this platform called Think or Swim. Okay. So let me just let me just go back to or swim by TD TD or Mary Trade. Okay, think of swim. You can all, you can always go Google think of swim or TD or Mary Trade Singapore. They have a Singapore office. You can always uh, install the think of swim platform and play on your, whether you're using laptop or, or your desktop, uh, it's free to use. If you are, if you are tree, if you're doing paper trades, uh, trying out the virtual trading account is free to use. You don't need to submit any documents, but if you want to trade with real money, then you have to register your interest with TD Ameritrade Singapore. They have, a, as I said, they have a Singapore, they have a presence in Singapore. Uh, you, they will require you to furnish certain documents, so, but it's, a, it's the usual standard documents that you that any brokerage uh, would require you to furnish anyway. So it is a fairly straightforward process. So this and it's also it's also a very easy and very user friendly platform to use. So if you're interested, after this you can just Google Think or Swim and install it on your on your laptop or your desktop right so question questions anybody else uh, there's a question from kelvin yi uh, from facebook how long does it take for a beginner to turn profitable Whoa. actually very hard question very hard question to answer because no in no two individuals are the same as we as i mean motherhood statement right now Maybe I will answer in this in this way. I think 
what is the expectation that you set for yourself? That would be the that would probably be a more apt response to you. If you think that you are someone who if you aim for yourself to turn profitable within one year, it is a do it is achievable. Okay, with with of course with some help with with mentorship, with coaching, uh, with learning as much as you can and no, no taking shortcuts, yeah, and no and make sure you don't have a gambling mindset or and and no reckless behavior. So you can be profitable. Uh, some of my coaches, some of my mentees have actually done some profitable tr trades uh, on their first few attempts already. So, but first few attempts don't mean much to me. I always emphasize that it is about your long term, your longer term performance. What you what you set up to for yourself in the longer term horizon. You you don't want to you don't want to. I mean, it's not a good situation if you're if you're for five six months you're profitable. Then on the seventh month, okay, you do one reckless trade and then it all pumps. It all goes goes to waste. So so it can you you can be profitable. You can turn profitable within a year if you set yourself that kind of target. For myself, I really got comfortable investing and profitable using options after two years because the first two years was really about me figuring out, you know, and, and then paying some tuition fees along the way because I didn't have much coaching along the way. So it is a lot of on my own DIY figuring it out so it is it was quite painful but I believe with proper guidance proper mentorship on coaching you can uh, investors who uh, who invest and take make the effort to invest and learn and risk manage properly can actually be successful after one year okay so yes so next any more questions uh, William is asking, is there like an intro tutorial before he starts? Intro tutorial? On Think of Swim platform, yeah. Have, Think of Swim has this education. If you look at, if you look at my screen, I believe I'm still sharing screen, right? Okay. Yes, you are, yeah. Okay, so you can see this education. They have quite a number of very good videos that teach you about option strats, and uh, the the nuts and bolts about options so you can use this you can start from here of course there are also a lot of materials educational materials in the in you can find in the in the google search and the online space but also but just be mindful a lot of not everyone are not every of those materials are good quality and some may actually also teach you the wrong stuff so so you need to be careful about what you, what you, what materials you access. Okay, but Think of Swim is a good place to start. You can actually use the education resource in Think of Swim to actually have uh, help you in your learning journey. Okay, next question. If there are any more. Uh, nope, I don't see any more questions. Okay, that's great. I mean, th these are also good questions. So with that, I will. I've done my sharing. I will stop my share now. I will hand the platform back to you, Imin. Okay, thank you so much, Xiong Yo. So of course, uh, for those in the house, uh, please do me a favor by, you know, maybe just help me press a like on the Facebook. And of course, uh, those in the house on the Zoom, maybe just help me tap on the clap button. Okay, really happy to thank Xiong Yo. So of course, uh, Xiong Yo uh, and myself will still be hanging around a bit after the session. So for those who still have questions, or even like, for example, want him to do demo on certain stocks. Okay, so do stay back. Uh, we'll be happy to, you know, look at some of the stocks uh, that you may be interested and in, what are some of the option strategies. So to give you a better idea of, you know, how different options can be from just buying the stocks itself. Okay, so uh, uh, before you all go, before you all go, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Songyo, are you hearing, hearing me clearly? Uh? Yes, I am. Very clear. Very clear, I, huh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, don't mind you. you uh, okay, good. Okay.
Okay, uh, William Hope is actually better now. Okay, so uh, I, we just want to address this last point. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay. Okay, just to confirm, uh, uh, all those in the house can hear me. I got a comment saying that some cannot hear me. Um, if you can hear me, don't mind just having type a one into the chat. Uh. Okay, so you confirm can hear me, huh? Yes, can. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, so can I be a successful options trader? I think that is one of the main questions uh, that uh, you actually need to answer. So uh, hopefully after today's session, you have to ask yourself, hey, you know, it's option for you. Okay, options indeed, okay, based on features, you can do a lot of things. Okay, uh, as for what I said just now, you can actually profit from the down market. You can actually collect a fixed income to the options premium. Okay, but we also highlighted a, a lot of times it's a higher risk instrument. Okay, it's a higher risk instrument. Uh, it's something whereby, you know, it's not like you can do it ha uh, half-heartedly, you know, just uh, do it halfway, then don't do. You must put in proper risk mitigation measures. You must actually, the, 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 in fact, the difficult part is training yourself. Uh. Okay, make sure you have the right mindset, train yourself, the right skill set, uh, then you can actually generate what Xiong is doing. Huh? So, number one, please, please don't go, go back thinking that this is a get rich quick scheme. Huh? If you ask me, if you ask me, it's more like a part time job. Lah. Okay, please have this mindset if you really want to you know, make money for option. It's, it's going to be like a part time job. It's not some like, oh, no money down secret. Lah. So, that is at least one thing you have to bring home. Okay? So some of other things that you may need to be prepared. Nah? So nobody masters option in one or two days. Uh, don't expect, uh, maybe for a start, for a start, you may not actually want to trade with real cash. I think Think or Swim has this virtual platform, which uh, Xiong Yeo showed just now. Can just open an account first, play the virtual platform to have a few. Uh, uh, practice virtual money, as I was just saying. And please, please uh, don't have the attitude of, or oh, I want to get rich quick. Lah. So if that is attitude, or oh, it can be actually very risky. Yeah. So one of the reason why options is actually considered a high risk depend on stock is because you put in $1, you can actually lose more than $1. Okay. Or in fact, if you have seen just now, uh, being an option seller, uh, you can don't put in money, make money. And after that, the loss can be unlimited. Lah. So please, please don't take, don't have a very greedy attitude here. Uh, as per what I suggest, if you really think you are going to this, see it at least like a part-time job, uh, like a part-time job. Uh. Okay, so um, we do sense that um, it's not easy for someone to just cop into options with whatever we have shared. Uh. Uh, so of course, uh, 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 after working with Xiong Yeo, so Xiong Yeo now actually have a few programs to really guide people through. So number one is he actually has a hand-holding program. It's definitely not easy uh, to, you know, from doing nothing to get the hang of, you know, uh, even navigate through that thing of swim platform. Uh, you know, there's so many things to look at. So I'm not sure how much you actually get. Uh. So actually, Xiong Yeo has a hand-holding platform. Uh. So the keyword here is hand-holding. It's not like he has a class of 40 students, no. Okay, in fact, we have very small classes. We call it group coaching so, uh, sessions. So he will handhold you, bring you through step-by-step step to make sure, uh, yes, you are very comfortable with the platform and you know how to exercise all the different option strats. Uh. So he do so by actually having this uh, one-day core module program Okay, one full day whereby you actually learn the options basics, the FAA process he mentioned just now, the offer option strats, and of course the trading platform demo. Uh, you are expected to already register the trading platform when you join this program and he will really theoretically handhold you uh, to guide you through to make sure you know how to operate. Okay, now um, again, even after this course, you may have a lot of questions. Uh, this program, like I said, you know, it's a handholding program. You have WhatsApp support group for one month. After this one day, you can ask any questions to Xiong Yo. And so far, I'm very impressed with his response rate. Lah. And his, uh, his answer is actually very detailed. Later, I got some screenshot. And what is most impressive is this. Okay, You will actually watch him do live trading. Eh? Okay, Two sessions of live trading. Two sessions of actual live trading. Eh? So 
uh, you know, being in the market, uh, okay, uh, you actually need a lot of courage to really trade in front of people. Uh, okay, you know that, you know, some live trading is something you cannot control, anything happen. So to really do live trading in front of people, okay, is definitely a lot of courage and I really salute Song Yo for that. Uh, and really why he want to do this is that you know uh, okay, the real world environment. Okay, Of course, when you study, study, theory, theory, but when you go to real world, things are different. So he really bothers to handhold you and bring you bring you to his war zone uh, or war theater to actually show you how to do live trade so that you can actually really master the skill. Uh. Okay, so once again, I just want to uh, uh, emphasize this is not a lecture, this is not a class, it's a group hand-holding session. Uh, because of that, uh, we have only maximum of 10 and we need five to start. Nah? Need five to start. So please, uh, option trading is a professional skill set. It's not something you can simply acquire by just sitting through lectures. Ah. Uh, uh, this is uh, what we don't believe. It's just like, for example, you know, I don't think you can ever be a doctor just attending online classes. Uh. So options, the same thing. You probably actually want someone to handhold you through. Uh. Okay. And uh, for those who actually went through this program, okay, uh, Songyo actually have an uh, investment club. Okay. Of course, only for those who actually went through this program, whereby they actually will meet monthly. Uh. Okay. Meet monthly. Then Songyo will actually give some stock suggestions. They will actually discuss uh, every month, uh, even okay, be it during the trading day or just before the WhatsApp group is still on. Okay. Uh, then after that, during the trading day, yeah, they can actually you know invest together. Okay, and make investment together. So please, please, uh, investing is never individual sports. Uh. Okay, investing is always a team sport. Uh. So uh, why do you actually want to invest alone? Okay. Okay, end of the day, you know, depends on how you do it. So sometimes you are pitting against each other. So why play this game, which is a team sport? Why do you actually take one person to go and fight the whole team? Huh? So that is the other program that uh, Xiong Yo actually provides. Okay, but this is only for those who actually went through his group coaching session so that everybody has the same uh, background. Uh. So after the program, you'll be empowered to participate in US stock market through options writing, know how to make full use advantage of some free to use screener tools, uh, generate regular cash flow through options writing, okay, monthly options for S&P. Uh, then of course, uh, as mentioned, um, okay, even the program, Xiong Yeo will do suggest some stock ideas. Okay, then of course, you know, is you can actually watch him uh, to really benefit from all these stock ideas. So that is really what I mean by hand-holding program. Eh? Okay, uh, I just want to show you some excerpt of the support group. Eh? So as you can see here, you don't see like just one word or one liner answer from Xiong Yeo. Eh? Uh, so you can see it's actually very detailed. And he even include things like graph to some of the response. Eh? Uh, so this is, uh, I, I really uh, salute his dedication, not easy. Okay, and I must say the response time has been very impressive. Okay, so watch me live trade. I, I think you actually have seen uh, his demo. So of course, uh, if you want, if you're not enough the action, you want to, you know, tickle his brain a bit more. Okay, so maybe after this session, you can just shout out some company names and he can actually do a bit more to show you. So again, this is very good training. Uh, this is very good training. You watch people trade live uh, rather than theory, theory, then just dump into the pool. Uh. So this is a different kind of, learning all together. Okay, uh, and I, I must say the fees are actually uh, very, very reasonable. Okay, so by adding all this together, we are only charging 780. And you think about it, okay, um, use $780 eventually to acquire a professional skill sets that can potentially become a primary source of income. Okay, think about this. I uh, think about this. I mean, for us to actually work in the corporate, we have to study, uh, I don't know, four years of university. So in the end, in the end then we have the skill sets to work for corporates like what he did. <laughs> okay. And now uh, Xiong Yu has proven himself just, you know, through options. Okay. He can generate income as per his last one pay. And now he's only asking for 780 okay, compared to a university fees. Okay, what is the ROI? Okay, I'll let you do the mathematics yourself. Huh? 
Or, or put it this way, lah. Put it this way. Even if we just help you to shorten your learning curve, for let's say just for six months, okay. As you learn everything new, ah, uh, there be try and error, there are mistakes. So let's say we just shorten all these mistakes for six months, preventing you to making basic mistakes, incurring losses, ah. Uh, so do you think it's worth it, uh? Okay. So I think, ah, uh, I think, uh. If Xiong Yeo, what he did, he needed one thing that helped you to prevent losing that 50,000 US, which he did. Uh, I think it's already worth the money back already. Okay, so I, I believe the fee is, uh, in fact, yeah, someone people asking how come it's actually so low. Uh. Okay, these are some of the feedbacks of the past participants. If you were to join us, you will be the fourth batch ready for information, fourth batch. Uh, uh, so we have uh, handheld successfully quite a number of people. Uh, and as what Xiong Yu has mentioned, some of his uh, coaches, okay, they are doing very profitable trades right now. Okay, so these are some of the feedbacks. Thank you for your patience. Give us ample opportunity to ask questions. So like I said, you know, this is, uh, I would say a professional skill set. It's not about, oh, after you read, you understand. You have to ask questions. And I must say, you know, he is really patient to answer all the questions. Okay, uh, we very focused on risk measure. Okay. Capital preservation should always be our number one priority. So this is the difference. Uh, we are not here trying to turn you to become a millionaire overnight. Uh, so uh, if you like the style, uh, so this is, okay, we have to declare this as our style first. Lah. Uh, of course, you are the one whereby you want to be millionaire overnight. Sorry, we can't help. But if you see this as a way, as a very decent livelihood over long term, I think this is the right place to come. Okay. His hope is to, uh, by sharing his mistake, valuable lessons that he have learned from his many years of trading, you will be able to accelerate the process of learning how to trade options. So once again, uh, for 780, shorten the skill sets, uh, shorten the learning curve, let's say just by six months. Is it worth it or not? Do you want to go through what he did, lost like $50,000, then pick up uh, his skill sets? Uh, so I, I think it's quite a no-brainer. Uh, inspire confidence in me, possible with due diligence to earn second stream of income. A, uh, again, same here, earn a second income from training options, okay, which one day even surpass your primary income. And of course, uh, again, very patient, dedicated teacher. And yes, uh, if you want to learn from the best option teacher, choose Xiong Yu, I highly recommend. Uh, so, yep, these are some of the words from the previous participants. Okay, um, of course, uh, you know, during COVID, I think uh, there are people who really need to learn this. Uh, we have done a special offer. If you actually go online right now, it's only 538. 538, uh, instead of 780, now it's actually 538. And to thank you for taking time off today to actually watch this preview, we are just going to throw in additional $50 preview discount if you sign up today. Okay, so this is only for those who actually attended the preview. Uh, and if you sign up today, okay, instead of paying 538, um, we are actually going to throw in another $15 discount. Okay, so uh, maximum 10 spaces. These are the dates. Uh, so you may actually want to lock down the dates in your calendar. So the one day call module is uh, one full Saturday, as you can see here. One full Saturday, it may. Then after that, you have the live trading session, okay, 10 to 14, uh, 10 and 14. Uh, so uh, the, the immediately the week after, Monday and Friday. So of course, the WhatsApp group will even be formed even before the class itself. Then you can start asking questions and the WhatsApp group is actually for one month after this date. Okay, so you can ask all the questions you want to make sure you're really equipped before you start options trading. Okay, so if let's say, for example, uh, you can't make it for this mastermind virtual gathering, okay, uh, we will allow you to do makeups. Okay, we allow you to do makeups. Huh? So for the subsequent run, you can actually join in for subsequent run. So of course, uh, as we mentioned, so Xiong Yo also have an investment group whereby they meet monthly. Okay, so if you eventually so decided that, okay, I know, no, play this sport as a team sport. Don't play as individual sport. Join Xiong Yu's group. Then, of course, uh, you will have a lot of opportunity to actually go through his uh, virtual gathering live trading sessions. Huh? Okay, uh, we have already done some pre-sales. And now, in fact, uh, we only have seven seats left. Huh? Uh, seven seats left. So, if history is a guide, there's a good chance 
we will fill up this class. Okay. So of course, if let's say you know um, we have overrun response, we fill up, then uh, not to worry. Uh, if let's say demand is good, we can always open our class. But please take note for the fifty dollars discount. We only accept those uh, whereby you sign up today uh, to show that you have attended the preview. Uh. Okay. So um, yes, uh, please do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Okay, scan on the QR code, and you can actually get the additional with this coupon code. Okay. Okay. When you check out, okay, key this coupon code for the additional fifty dollars discount. I am actually going to key in the link here so that if you prefer, you can actually click on the link. Okay. Okay, I have also key in the link in the respective chat groups. Uh. Okay, so of course you can scan or either that you can actually click on the link in the respective chat groups okay, to sign up. Okay, uh, so as mentioned, you think about it, 488, learn a life skill that potentially can replace your primary income. Okay, not lectures, hand-holding session, group coaching sessions, okay, whereby you get hand-holded by Xiong Yo, a lot of TLC, <laughs> a lot of attention to make sure you can get on board. And after that, eventually you get to join his um, investment group, okay? So play this sport as a team sport rather than individual sport. So why, you know, you think about this as a team, you all can do stock selection better. You all can challenge each other in stock ideas. Okay, it's definitely a better way to pick up stock. Why actually do uh, as a team sport? Uh, why as a, do as an individual sport? And eh? you should actually practice as a team sport. Okay, so with that, okay, uh, really, really thank you so much. Uh, we want to save some time for Q&A. So as mentioned, this coupon is for a limited period only. Uh, so uh, of course, uh, we left seven seats. Once you hit certain number, okay, I'm sorry, okay, we, this coupon code uh, will no